Hello, dear friends and colleagues. This is great honor to represent our research paper to the International Black Sea University at Silk Road International Conference. And once again, I am telling you that uh, our team will represent today one of very interesting topic, what is branding by NFTs and metaverse marketing strategy for digital solution. So this is uh, one of the most interesting topic and I want to represent Professor Georgi Glonti, who is uh, one of uh, greatest member of our team and also represent Miss Professor Isa Gigauri, who is the professor uh, at St. Andrew, first called Georgian University, and myself, Professor Dr. Kahaberja Kelly, and we are representing this topic uh, to you. So, branding by NFTs and Metaverse Marketing Strategy for Digital Solution. Goal of the article, the aim of this paper, is to explore the influence of Metaverse and NFTs on digital uh, marketing uh, and uh, branding uh, solution to discuss the potential for Georgian and Azerbaijan brands, what can be achieved from metaverse and other digital technologies. Companies and brands can find new solution-oriented strategies if they use not only uh, the real world, but virtual reality. The market capabilities can be doubled by success in both markets, either physical or digital. The marketing that is needed today, uh, this is digital marketing, and we seek uh, digital solution that combines physical and digital activities for the brand. In addition, non-fungible tokens and effective metaverse marketing strategies are especially desirable for uh, modern marketing. So our uh, new generation uh, demands immersive uh, experience and uh, we marketers should try to develop immersive activities. How do we understand the world uh, and how we, do we understand uh, this word immersive? Looking into the deepest meaning of this word, we finally confirming us that Immersive activity must fully influence the sensors of human beings. Only watching and hearing is not enough. All human brains and sensors must be involved in immersive activities. Such marketing actions are entitled as immersive experience marketing to make the customer or participants fully engaged in some physical or virtual process challenging her or his sensors. The word metaverse was firstly mentioned by Neil Stephenson in his science fiction Snow Crash, published in 1992, in which metaverse is a virtual reality where people use digital avatars to live in the online environment. Metaverse offers companies very interesting opportunities to involve customers in immersive activities. When we speak about what right now marketers should do, we understand that marketers right now have great challenge. And what kind of type of challenge uh, this is can be uh, described through two questions. What companies must have uh, right now? And these questions are uh, really very actual to understand the role of marketing. 
So the first question, what companies should have right now? This is which immersive activities will be most appreciated by customers and why? The second question can be when to turn uh, into immersive marketing. So these two questions will be quite actual for Georgian companies and companies from Caucasian countries. So we try to cover Georgia and Azerbaijan right now in this research. What is done by B, by Professor Gogi Holonti and uh, Professor Iza Higauri. So we say that Metaverse looks like a new world with stages of development. It develops itself through four main phases. And these main phases, they look like the following. The first one, this is egg pace. This is the egg world. And what evolutionary will uh, turn into larva pace of metaverse development? After that, this will turn into chrysal space of metaverse. And the final stage will be butterfly pace, what will unite all different spaces and worlds of metaverse virtual world. So that means that companies right now should try to jump into egg space of the metaverse to grow with the metaverse development and try to be marketing leader through metaverse technologies. Companies willing to meet they are customers and competitors in the early stages of metaverse development definitely must build their platforms either into X stage and after some period quantify their presence into the larva stage of metaverse development. All is going to the idea that enrolling into the metaverse customers can be uh, really uh, well uh, developed through some additional technologies and right now we will speak about non-fungible tokens what can be used also well by modern marketers so when we speak about which companies already entered the non-fungible tokens and which companies already entered metaverse technologies uh, we can say about marketing leaders Chipotle Mexican Grill became the first restaurant brand to open a virtual location on the popular Roblox immersive video game platform as part of its Halloween 2021 promotion. So when we speak about which companies follow the example of Chipotle, we can say about Windy's. Windy Wears, Windy's opening first restaurant in virtual reality. This was great uh, fascination of modern marketing. Welcome to the Windy Wears. Windy's opening first restaurant in virtual reality was really wonderful title. What attracted a lot of customers. Right now, this is the question. What it does. Carl Loredo, chief marketing officer for the Windy's company, says we are excited to make this to the next level by launching the Windyverse in Meta's Horizon Worlds and bringing a totally new dimension of access to our fans. Truly, a first of its kind, the Windyverse bridges the best of today with tomorrow to show up for our fans across every world with a frosty and fries in hand. 
step by step, Windis is going behind this Metaverse food service effort by opening an entire great virtual world where people can play games, uh, they can win these games and uh, participate in immersive activities. Finally, they can have prizes, they can have some uh, really interesting gifts and uh, so they can also meet their community members, they can have a lot of friends in these communities and many kind of type of interesting immersive uh, uh, modern uh, ways they can uh, use for uh, uh, the next uh, development as a uh, consumers to the Windiverse uh, company. The benefits of NFT for the branding in Metaverse is also one of interesting topics. So here we, we cannot avoid one of greatest digital painters and his work. What was sold by uh, 69 million at Christie's auction house in March 2021. So this is the great picture uh, established by Beep, one of the greatest painter. And we understand that this picture is also something like the best symbol uh, to attract people to the world of non-fungible tokens. As a non-fungible uh, token, we can define the type of cryptocurrency that is derived by smart contracts, not to be equivalent or fungible to other tokens in the same category to increase its scarcity and encourage buyers because people simply like something that is scarce. Scarcity is generally defined as something in supply or shortage, but the Britannica Dictionary defines it as a very small supply, the stage of being scarce. So when we speak about NFTs, we can say that they are stored on blockchains enabling traceability, traceability and proof of ownership. Recent studies show that uh, non-fungible tokens, they uh, really have very interesting uh, type of benefits for companies, brands, customers, people who collect different type of digital commodities. We can say that non-fungible tokens, they can belong also interesting new type of digital commodities. According to the commodity theory, which deals with the psychological effects of scarcity, it strengthens the value of anything that can be owned, used and transferred from one person to another person. Marketers think that scarcity uh, strengthens uh, the perceived value of products and services. The psychological effects of scarcity can be very important for the marketing concept of non-fungible tokens. First of all, we should answer the question, uh, are non-fungible tokens commodities or not? So right now, the NFTs are commodities according to the theory, they must satisfy, if uh, non-fungible tokens are commodities, they must satisfy three principles. They must be useful, they must be transferable, and uh, they must have the potential to be owned. So this is the question, any commodity will be valued to the extent that is inavailable. So we can ask uh, ourselves, are they commodities or not? This question uh, is not finally answered, but we can say that with regard to the marketing of non-fungible tokens, their adoption model uh, AIDA is also modified. Uh, why do customers purchase non-fungible tokens, how they understand that they should purchase the non-fungible uh, token. So this is the stages, what kind of type of stages 
what influenced the uh, some idea uh, of uh, purchase uh, to to customers. The first of all, this is scarcity, uh, non fungibility, proven authenticity, proof of ownership, royalties, direct distribution infrastructure, and all these things. They work to attract customers to make customers confident that they should buy the non-fungible tokens for different reasons, by the way. Some of them, they invest their money to place their money to make valuable investments and wait if non-fungible tokens will grow step by step. So, and it studied that non-fungible tokens have high returns in startup sales, approximately 130% return, and uh, also their volatility extremely high by the fact that they have no correlation to standard and poor's index. They are uh, like four high risk takers. Uh, and the high risk takers, they invest their money. So, but sometimes we cannot say that uh, they have no correlation to famous indexes like Standard and Poor's and so on. So, it's not finally solved this mysterical question uh, about NFT uh, growth and uh, uh, NFT uh, fails, uh, uh, NFT uh, developments on a special type of uh, digital currency uh, exchanges. So right now we can say how NFTs can be used for startups. Uh, so the question is that um, why they can be benef beneficial for startups. First of all, uh, to raise the money through non-fungible tokens, to improve uh, customer-based uh, brand equity, improve traffic of customers to the brand, improve brand awareness, increase brand equity, increase brand resonance, um, and make customers more loyal and also uh, inspire their engagement to the brand. And right now we can have a lot of interesting examples. First of all, uh, so some some young startups of non-fungible tokens, they are uh, building uh, sports shoes uh, company, and uh, they established one of interesting models of sports shoes. And after some period, they established also one of very interesting type of non-fungible token. What attracted people's attention? And so right now we see that they are non-fungible uh, token is really very valuable. The price is 672 US dollar. And also one of greatest example here we see that this is 28,000 US dollars expensive. This is one of greatest, greatest NFTs. This is one of greatest NFTs. And this NFT shows what people value in non-fungible tokens. Why they love them and why they invest their money into it. So we see that. First of all, this is wonderful, interesting things. What is authenticity? What is collectability? What is non-fungibility? Meaningfulness, measurability, data, blockchain security, digitality, coolness, and popularity. All these things we can see in great non-fungible tokens. And when we speak about the communities where we can buy non-fungible tokens, one of them, this is community of Gary Weinerchuk. 
Now I will speak about research methodology. The primary purpose of this research was to identify if and how Caucasian brands use the advantages of metaverse marketing. The main research question we said for this study was are marketers and brand managers in countries like Georgia and Azerbaijan using metaverse and NFTs for their successful future. For this marketing research, we apply to managers of companies in two countries, Georgia and Azerbaijan. The pilot survey was established and the participants answered 40 questions, 14 questions through the internet. So, and research results we can right now discuss. So, survey participants stated that their companies, they really know something about a new type of the marketing. They know a lot of things about digital marketing and they, they know the information about metaverse technologies and about non-fungible tokens and so on and so far. But the first question was do your company offer digital products and digital services? On this question, uh, the answer was 66% uh, answered no, 16% uh, comma seven uh, answered yes, digital products we offer. And uh, so this was the result of the Question number one, and so we continued um, uh, to ask managers uh, also additional questions about does your company apply uh, the uh, digital uh, branding? So uh, in this question, when we are starting uh, to use the word, uh, use the uh, definition of digital branding, we also explained what does mean. So 66% answered yes and 33% answered no. So the next question about please indicate how familiar you are with Metaverse. Uh, only uh, one company was uh, well uh, involved into uh, discussions about metaverse uh, marketing uh, concepts and technologies. So, and this was uh, quite mm, yeah, like surprising also for us. They knew well, they wanted to use, and I think they will uh, start soon to use these technologies. The next question was about. Please indicate how familiar you are with non-fungible tokens. And so this question was also less known by companies. And we turned into the next question. Please indicate your response to the uh, following statements. I need to learn more about uh, Metaverse. I know how to use Metaverse in branding. I know how to use Metaverse in marketing efforts. I don't need to know about Metaverse. I prefer working for a company that's joined Metaverse. And uh, like these questions were uh, interesting for us and for the companies. These questions also increased the appetite to know more about Metaverse and non-fungible tokens. The next question uh, and the next group of questions uh, where, where I need to learn more about some uh, NFT technologies and uh, I know how to I know how to use NFTs in branding and I know how to use NFTs in marketing activities. This type of uh, questions uh, were um, uh, confirming uh, that. Uh, only one company uh, was aware about um, advantages of metaverse branding. Others, they had less knowledge in this.